Hey guys, it's Epic Underworlds, and we're already on set four of my old trading card game, Epic Wars TCG. This set was my personal favorite out of the whole game because it introduced a lot of really important cards, mainly the Archmage, which was actually created by my friend Blaze PCGs. He was just over at my house and I said, hey, hey, you should draw a card. And so he drew the Archmage, and this card would later go on to change the PCG universe forever and be massively um, important to the lore. So uh, I, I just absolutely love this card, and I think the art was really good um, with like with the supplies we had. So that was so that's the Archmage for card one. We had Nito Serpent. Yeah, but yeah, definitely comment down below your your favorite cards, and uh, maybe I'll add them into my new uh, card game, Underworlds TCG. So we have Toten Berserker, Rapid Fire Zone Mech, Gondo Ninja Mech, Toten Warlord. This was the leader of the Totens. Misfortune, uh, a pretty cool card. Target Arrows, this was a comeback card, which is basically just like an instant in Magic the Gathering. Arctic Warrior, this was a Drave, um, which King Craggy later expanded upon. So yeah, now these guys actually have a physical name. Exotic Serpent, part of the exotic archetype. Set 4 was really just expanding on a bunch of archetypes. Gondo Temple, I remember this being a really good card for terrain. The Defender, Market Well, Nano Missile Mech, Nano Missile Mech, Ninja Weapons, Nodge, which was a full art, but you can still see the uh, line going through his head. <laughs> but that uh, that is still a, a cool card. Orc flag. This did add like if you guys remember in set one of Epic Wars, we had two orc cards. Now I finally fleshed them out. That's something I would do for quite a few other archetypes. So we got orc spearman, orc warlord, orc swinger, orc axe warrior, orc fortress. And then, yeah, that rounds up the orc archetype. Gustus Launcher, Cave of Gondo, Neo Age Spear. This was kind of like a mini archetype of just Neo Age weapons. Ancient Place. Oh, I hate that card. That's so bad looking. Toten Shield, Forest Tortile Warrior, the, the forest archetype was kind of big in this set. Double Cyclops. That guy's really powerful for being a common. Holy Staff, Viking General, the Viking archetype. Finally saw some new cards in this set. Terco Mech. Ninja Stars, Stealthy Ninja, Messenger Dragon to go with, um, here, I'll just leave that card out because I have to show you guys a combo later. Totem Soldier, yes, yeah, so this went with Dragon Keeper, and you can see that is the same artwork on that card, so I, I thought that was pretty cool. Then we have White Fang Dragon, Mech Machine, <laughs> was the most expensive card in the game. Xeno Mech, Exotic Glider, Mutant Vano, Mutant Slicer, Mutant Tendo, Serpent Venom, Mutant Merman, Mushi, just a really cheap card, but it did have a combo, I think. I think there was another card that went with it. Gondo Necklace, War Phoenix, Wings of Time, T Monton, <laughs> uh, Special Edition, D Dagon, D D Dagon. <laughs> Underwater Mines, yeah, not too many, like, there's mainly creature cards in this set, but there are just a few um, attachments. Toten Wizard, I really like this card. I definitely got to remake the Toten archetype in the new game. Gondo Ninja, Fortune Telling. Oh, this is my favorite card game, or my favorite card in the whole of Epic Wars TCG. Like, I, I know I might have said a few other cards were my favorite, but this is my all-time favorite card. I love it so much. Like, if if the if I could only choose one card to to take with me, it would be that one. Blood Legion Ninja, Tiger Whale. Pretty interesting ability on both these cards. Wizard Academy. Otashi Fossil. Forest Arrow Cannon. Forest Snail with some terrible coloring. <laughs> Axe of Luck. Vortex Sea Beast. Mega Smash. Ninja Armor. Mutant Titan Fish. Convincing Talk. Bomb Strike. Dragon's Breath, a pretty good comeback card. Whisper Spirit. Orc Drummer. Skeleton Axeman. Forest Underworld Archer. Unknown Valkyrie which finally we got some more support for the unknown. Neo-Age Belt, Neo-Age Helmet, a pretty cool effect on that. Forest Underworld Guard, and Devil Knight Plant. But yeah, if you guys have watched this far, you should really consider making your own card game. Like, even if you think your art is bad, you should still get it a shot, put it on the Game Crafter, and just have fun with it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope it inspired you guys to make your own trading card game. And I'll see you in the next one.